Hi, my name is Suzanne Grandy. I'm a certified master groomer in Tampa, Florida, and I am here with Chip. Chip is a Havanese, and he's going to get a puppy cut today. Um, he's already been washed and blow dried. He's already had his nails trimmed. I do not pluck ears in my salon, but his ears are very healthy. He comes to me every three weeks for a bath and blow dry, so he keeps nice, healthy ears with a good ear wash. The ear wash I use is Veto Quinol Ear Cleansing Solution, and that works real good to keep his ears nice and healthy. So we're going to get busy on the haircut. You ready, Chip? You ready? Okay. So he has on a harness. I'm gonna take off the harness for the trimming, but just so you know, this is a harness that we design in-house. This is the Anchor Pet Grooming Harness, and this is really safe for dogs with a trachea issue. I don't think he has one, but I use it on all the dogs when they need one. And at my feet, I have a little Pomeranian with separation anxiety. So she's the one making noise. She wants to go home, she's finished. You're fine. She hears me talking, so she thinks somebody's here. All right, Chipper. So I'm gonna take out a little hair at the corner of his eyes. The Pomeranian was perfectly quiet till I started talking. Now she's sure her mom is here. Let's see. Come here. Let's see. So I'm not going to overdo it. Just a little at the corners will keep a natural look on his face without hair coming up into his eyes. Done correctly, a Havanese would keep all of the hair on his face and all of the hair around his eyes, but this is not always practical for a dog living a regular life in a home with a family, right? It's not the most practical thing, no. If it's a show dog, it's fine, or for those with the dedication to keep up with it, it's fine, but the everyday pet, they like the hair trimmed away. So I think I'm going to use the purple comb made by Wall to set his length. It might not be short enough. I might have to go to the yellow one. We'll see. It's really important to use a good coat conditioner to release the static and help lay the coat into the position you want it before you use a comb. This really isn't an instructional video. I'm just showing you how I do it in my salon. Some people might disagree with my techniques or find a better way or say it's not proper for a show coat, which this is not a show dog or whatever disagreements people might have. But this is the way I do a puppy cut. So let's see if this takes off any length. Yeah, I think this will be good. We don't want them short. We just want them in an easier to maintain length. Once the hair starts getting too long, it gets harder and harder to brush. So I just, I just follow the natural lay of the coat. The blade underneath is not flowing as good as I would like it, so I'm gonna switch blades. I use a 30 blade underneath. Yes, I love you. I love you. I love my chipper. All right, get some of this hair out of the way. Stand. 
I'm just using a light touch. I'm not trying to get the hair perfect. With these types of coats, sometimes people make a mistake of trying to get them perfect. You want a natural look and a natural flow. You don't want overly scissored looks on a Havanese. Just nice and natural. One thing people do not like is for their Havanese to look like a poodle or a Shih Tzu. They like this softer look. He's got a tangle right here. So I'm gonna use thinning shears to help get this out. He's very, very sensitive to any tugging or pulling on his coat. When he was a puppy and he was neutered, he had to wear one of those cones around his head. And even though his owners kept up with him really good, that couple of weeks with the cone on his head matted the area around his head really, really bad. And in an attempt to brush out the head, and save the hair. Um, he became very uh, sensitive to brushes. We did end up shaving that area off and letting it grow back because he couldn't handle it. It's not fair to force a dog through any dematting procedures. Pet owners should plan to bring their dog in every two or three weeks for a bath and blow dry if they can't keep up with it. If your dog has a full, full coat, then at least once a week, they would need to get washed and fully blow dried properly. You can do these things at home, but it must be done right. And what I mean by right is every time the dog gets washed and blow dried, they need to have their hair so that a comb can sink from the skin out all the way over the dog. If you do not take a comb over the entire dog, your dog will get matted from the bath and that ruins the coat. And many times they have to be shaved down and started over. So you notice when I do this, I do not comb the hair up like I would a poodle. I comb it in the direction I want it to go, which is laying down. And then I clip her. So unlike a Bichon, many times with Bichons and such, we go in tight here. I'm going to keep more of a natural flow in here to blend into the beard so that he doesn't look overly trimmed. Right. Yeah. Let's trim your belly. Come here. I'm going to trim the hair off of his belly. Just a light touch, lightly picking at it. Some people are really picky about having it super clean under there. 
I just want the hair off and as little risk of irritation as possible. It's all right, girls. Oops, where are you going? <laughs> Stay. Stay. Good boy. Under the tail, I'm gonna trim a little bit of hair off. And again, here I do not go super close because I do not want to risk any irritation. Oh boy. All right. Good. You notice I let them have plenty of hug time? but not while I'm working. Hug time is a reward, and working time, all four feet must stay on the table. So now I'm gonna trim the pads of his feet. This is super important because you don't want your dog to feel like he's running around in socks. That creates a very big hazard for a dog's joints and knees and back injuries. If you allow your dog on a sofa or on a couch or a chair or a bed, and say you have tile floors, and they go to jump down, they're gonna slide and injure themselves. Good boy, Chipper. Good boy. Good boy. You want a belly rub? Is that what that was? You wanted a belly rub? Mm. I'm going to get this little bit of hair that's going into his mouth out of here. I'm using a 40 blade and lightly picking it. I'm going to get this little hair on the top of the nose because that's irritating. It goes down over their nose and they lick and it gets stuck. All right, that's done. Let's clean our table again. Good boy. Okay, all right, that's enough. playing too much. Now I'm going to trim around his feet. Because he comes to me so often, he knows as soon as I put him back here, he's supposed to stay. And he knows when he's released. He's used to me going back and forth between the praise and the the work. I don't try to get the feet too small or tight. I leave them nice and big. And again, I don't try to get them too perfect. There's no need to worry about perfection. Right here. It's okay. Right here. Right here. Now, Chip is a very sensitive dog, and if he feels um, stressed or worried, he's a very typical Havanese. He'll shut down on you. Havanese are highly sensitive, highly reactive very loving 
very quirky little dogs. And they need complete trust. They need to have complete trust in you. They're not the kind of dog you can scold or um, get irritated with because they take it way to heart. Don't you? Yes, you take it to heart. And it's the most terrible thing in the world to displease people, huh? Yeah. I don't want to displease. So again, I'm not taking this chest tight like I would some braids. I'm keeping it flowy. This keeps a fuller look to the coat. I have a picture of him on our website with short ears which that was t done not too long after he had the ears dematted or shaved because they couldn't be dematted, I should say. And they were starting to grow out. And he looked really cute with short ears. And he had a much shorter beard there. So you can see him with a different look. You notice when I want to praise most dogs when I'm working and I they're excitable and I don't want them to break their stand, I usually whisper to them a low, quiet praise. Because that keeps them from getting excited. Not taking the legs too short keeps this fuller flowy look. On our website, which is grandstylepet.com, that's G R A N D E stylepet.com I have hairstyle options pages and I have one specifically for Cotons and Havanese there are videos and uh, photos and the photos have descriptions of the hairstyle so this hairstyle the blade length the comb length is an a so this would be puppy cut a with medium length ears and a medium length beard and i have these descriptions on the pictures and on the videos so that if you like a certain look you know exactly what to ask for when you bring your pet to be groomed now other groomers might not understand my terminology but that's kind of like the menu of services that I have and that makes it easier for my clients they might get this and then they decide oh, it was a little too long for me to keep brushed I want to go a little shorter then you would go with a puppy cut zero which would be this comb, which is a little bit shorter, but not a lot. And then you can kind of whittle it down if it's still too long, or you could go up and you could go with the puppy cut E, which would be two steps above this one, 
in length going a little longer and a little bit more natural. Stay. Stand, stay. When I train my dogs to stand on the grooming table, I make sure that their feet are four square when I stand them. And I put a word to it. In my, in my salon, the word is stand. So they know when I put them four square and I ask for them to stand, they do. Okay, good boy. All right, Chipper. Barker come in. Yes, we did. We had a Barky dog come in. And you got a big drink of water while I was handling that customer, didn't you? Because now your beard's wet. If you ever snip out little knots out of the dog's hair, be sure that you're way away from the skin. Don't get close to the skin. I usually plan for one hour appointments so that we don't have more than two families of dogs here at the same time. Usually one just getting ready to be started and one just being finished. They overlap very slightly in most instances. So on his face, I'm not going to overly trim a bang because Havanese don't look as good with a bang, but you also don't want the hair following in the eyes. So I'm gonna take this center part out a little tighter. And this area right over the eyes and on the back side of the eyelashes, I'm going to lightly trim the thinning shears so that his hair is not bothering him. Good boy. Good boy rid of this little bit sticking up. I'm not shaving the nose or overly trimming the nose. Just getting rid of what sticks up. Good this way, he keeps this flow. The 
that is somewhat characteristic of a Havanese, but he can also see at the same time, which I like. Because if he were to be, if he combed all this forward and trimmed it like a bang or a visor, it loses that soft flowing look. So I can clearly see the hair that he sucks into his mouth, which annoys him. Let me get rid of some of this. When he's pulling his head, I give him a slight correction, just enough to know he's making the wrong decision. I like to train them to just lay their head on my fingers. I'm not really holding his beard. I'm just letting him rest his head here. Now for this stuff that sticks out on the side of his face, that's annoying. So I'm going to take my thinning shears and come up under one, two, three, into the thick stuff and comb it out. On the other side, right where it's poking out, one, two, three, comb it out. What that's doing is getting rid of the bulk and helping his head to, hair to lay down flat on his cheeks. So this side was still poking out. I went a little lower and did it again. And this side's still sticking out right here. So I'm gonna go lower. One, two, three. Use a finer tooth comb to pull this out. So now it's laying down and looks neat. I think he looks a bit too bearded right now. So I'm going to get this stuff coming off the front of his nose right here. I'm going to angle it back. three snips at a time with the thinning shears on each side. Comb it back in place and then soften the bottom. This way it's not too short but it's not overpowering. and it looks more natural. Good boy. Stand. See, he's laying his head on my hand. All the time you hear groomers say how they have to hold him by the beard. And sometimes, if they're being difficult, you might need to regain control, but most of the time, you can just train them to accept this. Hi, buddy. Because think about it. If your hairdresser says, come on in and sit down and let me work on you, you'd be like, okay. But if your hairdresser says, Get in here, sit down, and don't move. You'd be like, I don't think so. Right? He says, I don't think so. He's like, you never talk to me like that. What is that? What are you saying? What are you asking? What are you doing, huh? <laughs> All right, Jeff. Back to work. We're wasting time. We have no time to waste. No time to waste. No time to play. No. Okay. Back to work. 
right, so I see some hair over here sticking out. Turn, 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 turn. Calm back down. Stand. Once a dog's trained how to work with you, you can go back and forth between play, praise, and work. As long as they're not confused, as long as they know what you're asking, none of it is bad. So if, again, if I were to go back in here and try to scissor him perfectly smooth, perfectly even, he would lose the soft look. You want it trim and tidy and nothing jutting out anywhere, but at the same time you want it soft and flowy. Started on that Pomeranian who's having a temper tantrum. Yes, that Pomeranian's having a temper tantrum. <laughs> I did not release you. Take this little bit here and comb it back towards the eyes. And just trim anything that might grow back up towards the eyes. Good boy. Make sure his chin is even. See, he doesn't take my corrections as harsh. He's just like, oh, okay. anti-static coat conditioner that I'm misting onto his coat is made by eye groom it's their detangling spray and it smells really good too
So this is a nice, nice soft Havanese puppy cut. This is the puppy cut A with medium length ears and a medium length beard and more of a soft flowy look around the face. What are your friends doing? Stand. Let me make sure you're even. Stand. Good boy. Go stand. Let's look over it. Make sure it looks even. Goodbye to all your fans. Say goodbye, Chip. Bye, Chip. I love you. Yeah.